Hello, lots of people are thinking about buying an electric car, but they are confused as there's a lot of anti-EV information at the moment and it's coming in all directions from newspapers, TV and YouTube. And the anti-EV channels on YouTube are getting the most views. So where does electricity come from? Does it come from diesel and coal? And if you're thinking of buying EV, what's the point if your electricity is dependent on a power plant or diesel or oil. Hello friends, my name's Nigel. I do hope you can like and subscribe and please leave a comment below. Now, one of those videos I was watching was a Neil deGrasse Tyson and I'm a big fan of him. He's a scientist and he talks so much sense. But what was interesting about this video was that he was talking about where electricity comes from and uh, he's got over a million views with this particular video and then he talks about the coal powered power plants where the coal is crushed instantly and it's turned into electricity in the coal power plant he says two-thirds of the power is supplied by fossil fuels and he's obviously talking about the united states europe is different australia canada and uh, possibly new zealand then he talks how important salt was in the days before canning and refrigeration got rid of that. And then he talks about where oil comes from and what if he was to turn his gas car into an electric car. He says how cheap electricity is and we really don't care where it comes from. Now, the video is fine, but it does create the impression, especially in the early part of the video, that... Uh, if you buy an electric car, most of the energy is going to come from coal and oil. And so all you're actually doing is passing on the uh, CO2 emissions somewhere else. And I only watched the video right to the end because I wanted to see what the conclusion was. But the majority of people would have switched off a lot earlier. I know from my own graphics on my... Um, analytics that at the start of the video you have 100% and then by the end you're lucky if you get 20% um, and my problem with the video is and I am a big fan of his he's a very great scientific man that it wasn't till the 11th minute that he really talked about anything positive about electric vehicles and where electricity comes from he then talked about other sources of power wind solar that stops us depending on oil which is fantastic but he then said he could get a bucket of gas and it's easily transferred but solar is not unless you have a battery i thought it was an odd thing to say because batteries are getting bigger they're getting more efficient and we need more and more of them because the wind doesn't always blow 24 hours a day so in the 13th minute when majority of people watching will have switched off and they've been left with the information that uh, if you buy an electric car it will be mostly powered by oil and coal and gas so what's the point he does say that the sun is giving us free energy and continuing to use fossil fuels and warming the earth is a travesty at last he says we need to put our brain power together and be good shepherds of the environment so future generations will thank us for what we have done yes that's great but a little bit later in the video i wish it was said earlier when the majority of people were watching i know a lot of people with wind turbines some farmers some not uh, solar panels that they're running their house and their car from solar panels and wind turbines now not everyone has access to that but many people do now, I recently moved quite a long way. Where I used to live, I could look out of the window of my house and see a dozen wind turbines. And where I live now, I can do much the same, see a lot of wind turbines in the area. Yeah, obviously, I don't live in Surrey, where people don't like wind turbines. They seem to think it devalues the price of their house. The objectors to wind turbines years ago in Cornwall would object that uh, we can't have wind turbines in Cornwall because it will stop people coming on holiday. Well, more and more people come to Cornwall these days than ever did before. 
and they're more likely to say, well, I'm not going to Cornwall anymore because there's too many people there, certainly not because of the wind turbine. And Cornwall, like Scotland, is self-sufficient and exports a lot of its wind energy elsewhere. So I'm a big fan of Neil deGrasse Tyson. He said earlier that two thirds of energy comes from fossil fuels. Well, that may be true in the US two years ago, but it's not true in the UK. And if you go to the National Grid Live, you can see what the daily, weekly, monthly and yearly numbers are, where the electricity is coming from. And I just switched on and I could see that at the moment, 52% of energy is coming from renewables, wind turbines, solar and hydro. And 34% uh, fossil fuels. That's, so it's about a third at the moment is coming from fossil fuels. Uh, the source is 8%. And also, if you then look at the week, it, the week was fossil fuels 50%, a third renewables. And for the year, 35% uh, fossil fuels, 35% renewables. So it's about 50 50, and there's another 90 20% coming from nuclear. And you can also see for all the time where fossil fuels is 50%, renewables 21, others 23. So at no time has fossil fuels been two thirds in the UK, but the number for renewable is growing all the time. So as we can see that it's currently half of our energy is coming from renewables. And of course, where I live, it's 100%. I get my electricity from Octopus Energy and they get two thirds of their electricity from renewable sources. Um, there is an option that you can get 100%, you do pay a little bit more. So if you are thinking of buying an electric car and I'm now aware that I've probably made the mistake of putting it right at the end and not at the beginning, rest assured that less and less of the energy that comes out of your plug into the car is coming from fossil fuels. And if you get solar panels, then clearly you'll be charging the car from the sun. And yet some people say, ah, oh, yeah, but those solar panels were made by fossil fuels. But the number's getting less and less. And there's the point. You can do nothing and uh, hope it'll go away. Thanks very much for getting this far. Hope you can like and subscribe. And I'll, uh, I'll see you next time. Thanks very much. Bye.